because you were piloted by NCC for this project, before establishing the physical CEC, we first established the ordinance because it's the basis for everything that the city government does. So what we did was we drafted an ordinance, had it passed by our Sangguniang Pang in 2004, and then through a public hearing, we had the permission or the, co the consensus of the local, the locals, our constituents. So even before the CEC operated, it was backed up by an ordinance. And then within that ordinance and also the fees, Previously, uh, during that uh, public hearing, mm -hmm. our city councillors wanted it for free. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to have a fee. In essence, uh, free all of the services. But we, we argued that for sustainability, we have to have a certain fee. So, and then for the maintenance, of course, of the equipment, and then all others for the internet service. So what we did was we have all the fees offered uh, in outside internet fees. For example, if the fees outside was 20 pesos, here it's just 10 pesos. That's just for sustainability. So that um, not everything that a government, a local government, uh, gives to its constituents are for free. And, and then um, one thing more that's unique for our ordinance the CEC is under the City Planning and Development Office, not under the City Mayor. If a project is under the City Mayor's Office, we cannot guarantee the sustainability of the project. But if it's under an organization which is inherent to the city government or a municipality, for instance, it cannot be... Um, the project is insured of sustainability and of funding. So that's why, in our case, we opted to have it under the supervision of the City Planning and Development Office in 2004. So under in 2007, we had a reorganization wherein the CEC is now under a division, a separate division of the City Planning and Development Office. And that division is the Information and Communication Technology Division. So that's a... Uh, uh, two unique features of the ordinance. And then the third unique feature is we already had a schedule of fees. So, and then for the schedule of fees, the CEC is empowered to raise or lower the fees. So it, it would not have to go to an ordinance, another ordinance. So we are empowered already to increase fees, to stipulate another fee, whatever. So uh, it does not have to go to the long process of readings, hearings, etc., etc. One rule of the CEC is no gaming, no internet gaming, and of course no pornography. Mm -hmm. That's given. That's that, that's given. And another thing would be you have to log in first, and then uh, you will be assigned a number a computer, and then you have to uh, our counter will be. Um, monitoring your activities and if you have a question or if you want to print something if you have or you're having computer problems you could uh, uh, seek the attention of our staff so that they can help you and then if you want to print something uh, you could just tell them that you want to print something or if you want to download something and you're having trouble you, you have to tell them also if you want to um, use a flash drive you can and there's no eating no drinking, of course. That's uh, computer etiquette. And also, um, we discourage um, illegal downloading, of course, for copyright purposes. And then, uh, our fees are all backed up by official receipts. Uh, if you pay, for example, if you pay 50 pesos, you'll be given an official receipt. Our personnel are all bonded it's a regulation of the city treasury that you as someone who receives fees you have to be bonded by the city government for you to issue official receipts so if we issue official receipts uh, each of our personnel are bonded so that's a uh, renewable every year the month so uh, if you pay 50 pence for example you'll be given an official receipt and then all 
our receipts or our proceeds for the day, our profits for the day, will be uh, reported to the city treasury every day at the end of every day. So that's uh, some of the rules of the city.